Hello, Internet. Welcome to Film Theory, the show that thinks it would be super sweet of you if you would subscribe for more videos. Oh, gosh, sorry. I, I mean, ugh, sorry. It's just really infectious, all right? The uwu has rubbed off on me again after watching too many YouTube shorts and seeing this adorable yellow dog popping up all over my feed. In case you have no idea what I'm talking about, today we're diving into the world of chicken nuggets, spelled like, um, that. Spellcheck hates me in this script. If you've somehow missed this incredibly viral series across YouTube, or TikTok or Instagram or literally any website, Chicken Nugget is an animated micro-series created by Kyra Kupetsky of BuzzFeed Animation, chronicling the wacky adventures of an adorable doggo named, fittingly enough, Chicken Nugget, as well as all his friends who are named after items that you might pick up at your local 7-Eleven. There's Chicken's bestest friend in the world, Cheese Burger the Cat, Quench Fly the Dragon, a being of pure good, Ice Cream the Bunny, who may or may not actually be a demon, Slushy the Arctic Fox, who's really into cosplay conventions and fanfic, Kofi the Sheep and Wolf, Wolf's clothing, Sodi Pop, the rambunctious red panda who just wants to spread chaos, as well as various other side characters that get into hijinks with Chicken Nugget and the gang. To borrow a phrase, this series is kind of like a box of chocolates. Once you scroll into one, you're never quite sure what you're gonna get. From the hashtag relatable, Try again, try again, try again, to the lol so random, I love you. To the, wow, that was actually horrific. Isn't glitter beautiful? It adds a sparkle to everything it touches. I love glitter too. Once it enters a space, it never leaves. Its particles permanent and unending. And while these characters might seem innocent and cuddly on the outside, Bubbles. If you keep watching these micro videos, you'll soon discover something deeper going on just under the surface. Let me tell you, loyal theorists, you guys delivered with this one. Take into Twitter, GT Live's comment sections, even the theorist subreddit to recommend that we look into Chicken Nugget. And I gotta be honest, when I first saw Chicken Nugget recommendations popping up all across my feeds, I thought it had something to do with Kindergarten, that theorist classic game with a different kind of Chicken Nugget. Hello, Internet. Welcome to Nugget Theory, where only those most deserving of Nugget's wisdom are permitted to watch. But after taking a dive into this series, wow, I cannot believe that I let this one almost pass me by. And with the news that BuzzFeed Animations teamed up with Frederator to make a new animated series adapted from the shorts, now seems like the perfect time to dig into this one. And boy, let me tell you, there is a lot hidden beneath the cute and cuddly art of this one. What on the surface seems like an innocent and wholesome series of fun, jokey videos about furry friendos named named after food, is actually a series asking some pretty heavy existential questions about what it means to be yourself, to believe in yourself, all packed inside of a wholesome... Okay, mostly wholesome and digestible crust like a delicious chicken nugget. So grab your ketchup and honey mustard, loyal theorists, we're digging in. Now, when you decide to decode the lore of a series like Chicken Nugget, sometimes it can be difficult to figure out where to start. Unfortunately, most series like this don't really compile all their most important lore bits into a compilation video called something like Chicken Nugget Lore Part 1. Oh, that's, uh, that's exactly what they did with this one. Nothing says, hey, go call MatPat to cover your series, like adding the word lore and making it a multi-part series. So let's just explain what's going on here so we get a view of the big picture. All of this lore content begins with the introduction of a new character into the lovable cast, the personified clock and tumbler sexy man known as Bezel, embodiment of time. Nice to make your acquaintance, little animal friend. What the heck? <gasps> sexy man. Now, right off the bat, Bezel doesn't fit in for a lot of reasons. He's not an animal. Ugh, he looks so deeply out of place looking like that. Hmm. You're right. Nor is he chibi. Oh, fine. You want me to blend in more? Conform? Fine. Happy. Well, at least he's trying. Also worth noting that he's the only character not named after an item that you'd find in a typical fast food drive through A bezel is the ring that surrounds a watch and holds the protective glass covering the face in place, so appropriate for the character, but not exactly something you'd want to eat. Bezel is first introduced as a thorn in everyone's side, reminding them of the fleeting nature of time itself. Read it and weep, kid. Day's nearly over. How have you spent it? He's also responsible for shipping the characters together, but I mean, like, we've all done it. What are you doing? Oh, don't mind me. I, I'm simply putting the things I like in this corner. Oh. 
This eventually brings Bezel into conflict with both French Fly and Ice Cream, who are both unlike the rest of the cast. You see, both French Fly and Ice Cream are interdimensional beings. French Fly is actually a representative of pure good, and Ice Cream is the demonic personification of pure evil. Both are trying to influence the world to their side, but this conflict of good versus evil quickly takes a backseat for another type of trope. You're a harbinger of darkness and a blight on this world! I should send you to the deepest pits of the netherworld! What's stopping you? Yeah, opposites certainly seem to be attracting in this case. Now, that right there is an interesting setup for a conflict with a ton of hidden lore, right? A battle of good with French Fry versus evil with ice cream versus chaos with bezel over the fate of the world. All with these cute, adorable talking animals trapped in the middle. But it's not the world that these three are fighting over, it's just control over one of the characters, Chicken Nugget. What are you even here for, anyhow? I think you and I both know. You're not the only one who's keeping an eye on the strange occurrences surrounding that puppy. Strange occurrences, you say? Like what? Well, aside from summoning demons or dragons or whatever, we see that Chicken Nugget has some sort of control over his body that the other normal animals don't, and they're all aware of it. Let me be clear. That's better. <laughs> Y'all ever wish you could just belong? You do belong. You misunderstand. Long. You can even change things about other people. Let's trade. What? Meow. Now, all of this could just be funny jokes or an art style thing. In shows with similar art direction like Adventure Time or Steven Universe, the characters often have exaggerated features. They can stretch and bend their bodies and limbs in ways that feel inhuman. Their faces can transform into something funny or scary at the drop of a hat. Most of the time, this is just meant to be a fun art decision. There's no deeper meaning other than, huh, it's just a cartoon, bro. But I don't believe that to be the case with Chicken Nugget. I think all of these things are literally happening in universe and that they aren't necessarily supposed to be happening. Why? Well, it's simple. Chicken Nugget, this dumb little pupper with a permanent thousand yard stare, is actually literally a god. He still doesn't know he's a god. Makes sense, right? I mean, dog is just god backwards. Anyway, that is why all these strange things keep happening around him. Chicken Nugget's body moving in strange ways, the weird, creepy gnomes everywhere, why a dragon, demon, and the embodiment of time keep following him around trying to sway him to their side. And if you can't see the advantages to all this, Bezel straight up spells it out for us with a VHS-styled explainer video. Classic theorist trope. Love to see it. Long ago, prophecy etched into the fabric of the universe itself. Stated that a demigod would descend to Earth. His destiny? Warp it beyond recognition to his own selfish desire. <laughs> and just to dot our I's and cross our T's here, we definitely know that this demigod must be referring to Chicken Nugget. Why? Well, when Bezel says that the demigod's destiny is to warp reality beyond recognition to his own selfish desire, we see the world transform into a land of frogs and cheeseburgers, two of Chicken Nugget's favorite things. I mean, his best friend is literally a cat named Cheeseburger wearing a cheeseburger hat. As for frogs... Why do you like them so much? What's not to like about froggies? I mean, just look at them. Just a little gentleman. What's more, Chicken's power seems to be growing. He no longer seems to be affected when the other powerful characters use their powers on him. Dumb online arguments. Wish I could give a hoot. Your wish is my command. What, it didn't work? I'm getting stronger. I just don't got no time for nonsense no more. He can read people's thoughts. You do count. If you're LGBT, you're LGBT. Oh, thanks. How did you read my thoughts? He even seems to be starting to break the fourth wall. Sometimes it feels like I'm just a puppet on a stage, available for whatever shenanigans happen next. What's happening? If you pause at just the right moment of the short, you'll see a picture of the real-life animators working on the short in the real world, as Chicken stares directly at the camera. And that's not even mentioning the smaller, creepier stuff like this. Right. It's a surprisingly intense setup for a series about cuddly cartoon animals, and it leaves us with a lot of interesting places where it could lead, with a clear battle between three sides and a doggo gato that may dictate the entire fate of the universe. On one side, we have Bezel instigating chaos, slowly trying to reveal Chicken Nugget's destiny to him by planting subtle ideas into his head. Do not despair, for time is an infinite dance! 
<gasps> He's also trying to reveal the nature of this reality to Chicken Nugget, helping him break through that fourth wall. Cool void you got here. Yeah, I guess it is kind of neat. I guess I kind of never really noticed it. On the other side of the battle, we have Quench Fly and Ice Cream, who would love to recruit Chicken Nugget, but have accepted that they probably won't be able to. So instead, they're trying to shield Chicken Nugget from the truth, but they're kind of at a total loss for what to do. You know why Bezel's here, right? Yeah. I just thought we did everything right. We did do everything right. He's wrong. That said, they do have themselves a nice little backup plan for when things go south. So, if Bezel's right and he does destroy the world, what do you want to do next? He's not going to! It's gonna be fine! It will! I can find a nice pocket dimension for us! It'll be so nice! Uh. And lastly, in the middle, we have Chicken Nugget, who doesn't seem to be handling all this very well. It's affecting his waking hours. The thing the clock guy said about empty voids is kind of starting to freak me out. Wait, do I even have a house? Sometimes it feels like I'm just a puppet on a stage, available for whatever shenanigans happen next. And a sleeping ones. And for now, that's where a lot of the lore of Chicken Nugget stands, but I believe that we can actually take it a step further. I think that we can make a pretty good guess about where this story is going and the themes that it's gonna unpack. First of all, it seems pretty darn clear that Chicken Nugget is gonna learn the true nature of his powers and soon, and that is gonna cause a lot of chaos. In the last clip from the lore video, we see the character Sodi Pop drawing a happy picture of the whole cast having fun, but as it's hung up on the fridge, the music gets ominous as the picture starts to fall, clearly foreshadowing that the fun carefree shorts from early on in the series are going to be evolving into something more sinister. In the description of the lore video, it even says, quote, here's the start of a chaotic arc in Chicken Nugget. Chaos, just like what Bezel's trying to sow into this world to awaken Chicken Nugget's full power. But then what's going to happen as a part of that story? Well, honestly, it's a bit difficult to predict. This is the sort of series where Bezel could reveal Chicken Nugget's destiny only for the doggo to say, cool, and then move on, never mentioning it all again. But that honestly wouldn't be very fun, nor do I think it's the big plan that they have built for this thing. Instead, I think Chicken Nugget is going to have to grapple with the truth about himself and really struggle with it as a part of his identity. That right there has been one of the biggest themes of Chicken Nugget so far. The theme of acceptance of reality, of accepting who you truly are. And it manifests itself in multiple ways across the series. For example, one way is accepting the idea of mortality. That no matter what you want or what you do, time is always going to continue to march forward. As I showed earlier, Bezel is quick to remind everyone of that fact. How have you spent the your clock's ticking every day. And it's something that these characters have already started tackling. For example, in one short, Cheeseburger asks French Fry and Ice Cream if they plan on getting married. But French Fry says that they'll need at least another 10,000 years before they're ready for it. And as Ice Cream points out, You'll be dead before it happens. In another, after Sodi Pop asks Slushy what kind of stuff she wore when she was younger, Slushy is driven into a quarter-life crisis. And in an attempt to recapture that lost time, she re-enters her goth phase. I have to go back. Acceptance of aging, though, is only one facet of this. Another one is accepting your own identity, and that right there is a huge part of the series. This is perfectly embodied by the character Kofi. She is literally a sheep in wolf's clothing. She feels more at home in a different body, and is doing her best to make that her reality. More explicitly, she has several moments where she learns to accept herself, and that she doesn't need to conform to others' expectations. People don't really get me sometimes. Maybe I am too weird. Guess I'm just different. That's okay, though. Characters like Slushy encourage others to embrace their interests, no matter how cringe they might be. What you doing? Writing a fanfic about my self-insert dating a character I really like. Isn't that kind of cringe? No, and you know why? Because it makes me happy. Cringe culture is dead. Write those fanfics. Cosplay those characters. Even Chicken Nugget gives Cheeseburger some body-positive affirmation. Hey, Chicken? Am I chubby? Yes. Very chubby and nice and good and beautiful. 
good for the hugging. And this theme right here, acceptance of who you are, no matter who you are, is gonna be playing a huge role in this lore as the series goes on. I don't know about you, but if I were in Chicken Nuggets Paws and was on the cusp of discovering that I was a demigod with the potential to alter the world to my own will and destroy the universe, it would kind of freak me out a little bit. Just, just a smidge. And any potential feelings of shame or low self-worth coming from that, well, it's gonna outwardly affect everyone around him. We already see in the series how Chicken Nugget holds himself back despite having immense power. You got such a cute little baby voice. Maybe when I grow up, I'll lose it. Wait, you're grown. Why do you still have one? It's a crippling medical condition. If Chicken Nugget wanted an adult sounding voice, he could have one, but his internalized feelings are the things holding him back. And that's just the tip of the iceberg for the things that Chicken's gonna have to deal with. Thankfully though, he's surrounded by the best people to help in this sort of situation. A supportive best friend like Cheeseburger, a motherly figure encouraging him to embrace himself like Slushy, someone actively on the same journey of self-acceptance like Kofi, a literal angel and devil on his shoulder to keep him balanced in French fry and ice cream, and a little chaos gremlin and soda pop just for the fun of it. They're the ones that are ultimately gonna help keep Chicken Nugget grounded, helping him through whatever godlike self-realization he's gonna be forced through. And they're not gonna do it through some epic quest or adventure, but they're gonna do it through the mundane, the everyday things that they're already doing. Drawing, going to lunch, relaxing in a field, whatever. Sometimes life isn't about the amazing and exciting future, but the here and now, and the friends that you choose to keep. Maybe the world that Chicken Nugget occupies is just a figment of his imagination, or the whims of an animator, but the important thing is that he spends his time with the friends that he's made along the way. But hey, that's just a theory. A film theory. And cut.